Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a blessed morning so far. It is 8.33 in the morning and I am officially late to work. It takes me 30 minutes for my home to get to work. Now, let me tell you how the reason why I'm late. So, I was on my bed watching TikToks. I was already, I've been up since 6 o'clock this morning praying. So, I don't know how I'm late to work, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Cause actually this this actually this um this week we were supposed to fix that, but apparently that didn't work out. So um I just dropped the girls off. Now I'm headed to work. Now uh, baby's off today, so I have somebody to talk to on the phone if he's not asleep. Um But it's a lot that I want to get done today while my patient is like sleep and stuff. Um so if you don't know, I do have ADHD, um, and that plays a big factor in my life, um, including my job. So what I wanted to do to help with my ADHD, so um, I'm going to be on medicine soon. That's what I'm waiting on. That's why I'm not working at the hospital yet. Once I get my um, medicine, I will be working at the hospital. But for right now, I'm going to continue to do home base right now until I get the proper medicine that I need for my ADHD. Um, another thing is my client family, um, her daughter had made me a sheet to wear whatever that uh, basically when you first get a patient, you want to know all the things about your patient, what they like, what they don't like, where this at, where that at. So they, they give you like a some families all families don't do this so i was grateful when i saw it some families will write out stuff so she's not computer savvy so when she did it it was like all the paragraphs are bunched into one no spaced out so when i look at stuff like that i get overwhelmed and I'd be so confused, like I will have to read at least 10 more times because it's just a lot of information bunched up together and it will overwhelm me to the point that I can't even think straight, if that makes sense. Um, so, so basically, um, I'm going to, today I'm going to actually get a notepad and write each thing down. Um, so I can focus on one task at a time so that when I do the task, I can go ahead and um, do the task and then, put, then clean up my task, if that makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Like, if you're not in the medical field, that's okay. It's still, I'm not using uh, medical terms. I'm just saying like, for example, if I'm doing the bathroom, I want to make sure when I do the bathroom, I don't get distracted because of my ADHD and start doing something else and then forget to put the chemicals up in the bathroom. That's what I mean about, I want to focus on a task, um, doing it and after. So I'm gonna do one task at a time. So when I first get there, I do have my own station and stuff like that, so I'm going to focus on that as well. Um, put my stuff down, you know, and then I'm going to go over my chart, you know, because I'm not going to rush myself. And my friend, she was telling me, she was like, you need to move on your time, not on the family's time, what they want. They don't, they don't do this. So uh, you have eight hours to get everything done don't push yourself to the point that you're just super tired so um i'm headed there now i did pack up lunch okay but i'm about to drink this slim fast for breakfast um i, I normally eat like a toaster turtle or something for breakfast but not today um i ended up packing a lunch today i'm trying to remember how to get here so I guess I'll see you guys once I get there because I'm actually bringing you guys on today with me. Hey y'all. Guess I'm in the car. No, I'm not on break. I left. So, we're back on the market looking for a new job, y'all. Even though I still work for this company, 
let me tell you something. First of all, I had a feeling that something was wrong today. I had a feeling that something was off today. I had a feeling that something wasn't going to work out today. I had that feeling already. I knew that. I felt it. So this claim did not work out, not because of the patient. The patient is awesome. It's the family. I told y'all this. It's the family. It's the family. And I just couldn't take it anymore. So basically, ever since I've been working with this particular client, the daughter has been so disrespectful towards me. I've been dealing with it because it's my job. Um, basically, the daughter kept disrespecting me. She was talking to me like I'm a child over and over and over and over and over and over and I dealt with it and I dealt with it and I dealt with it I tried to but the thing is my manager um I was already warned that this like people don't stick to this particular location because of the daughter um and I told her like she was picking up my stuff asking me what it was and I was like what I do in my personal life don't have nothing to do with you and your family when she missed, when she said this is her house baby that was my cue I said well this is what I'm gonna do so I told her I said this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get my stuff and I'm going to leave your house no more discussion I said I am 27 years old. My husband don't even talk to me like that. I have children. So what I'm not going to allow you to do is talk to me like I'm a child. Because I'm not. It's not the patient. It's the family. So what I'm going to do, either I'm going to challenge the state board test so I can get my behind in the hospital like I wanted to in the beginning. Or I'm going to go look for another job because it's, 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 it's easy working for agents. Like working for agencies is not hard. It's not hard to get on agencies. I can get on multiple. So with my company that I'm working for, I don't think she have a lot of um, clients. That's why she's trying to keep this one client that everybody have a problem with um so what i'm going to do i'm going to look for another agency as well i'm not going to stick to this one agency if you don't have work i'm not working for you so what i'm going to do is i am going to go home warm up my chipotle and i'm going to go back to the drawing board let me tell you something no, you're not a failure because something did not work out. Everything happens for a reason. I was able to test the waters and see how it is here. Okay, what's next, God? It's nothing to be, because I felt like a failure. I was like, dang, I just started working here. But my husband said, baby, trial and error. You remember, they, you don't need them. They need you. You don't need them. They need you. You have eight years of this. You are certified in so many areas. They need you. So, I know that. I'm going to use that. Let's go home, babes. Period. Happy Saturday. So, I'm starting the vlog off with a bonnet. Yes. Now, um, I just realized I only have one bar left on my camera. And I did not break another battery. So hopefully we can get everything done with this one battery. So I'm on my way to, um, well, first of all, 
Hi, if you're new here, my name is Brenda J. And if you're a turn subscriber, hey babe, welcome back. So today is considered a weekend vlog where it's the weekend and we're gonna be vlogging my life for the weekend! <laughs> the weekend! Yeah, so I am on my way to the bank because apparently I lost my, um, I lost my bank card. Y'all remember in the last video when I went to, um, I went to Vast, not Vastar. Right I went to out. Donkey Donuts, and I lost. Oh, I lost my freaking. Um, I lost my. What I'm saying, Brenda? I lost my card. I can't find my card. It's not in my wallet. I'm gonna look at my car one more time once I get to the bank because I do need to still go to the bank. Um, so, yeah. But I'm on my way to the bank and then I have a couple of other things to do before, um, before the day ends. Like, I have a lot to do. So let me give y'all a rundown of what we're doing. Let's bring out the notepad. So first I need to go to the Bastard. I need to handle some business there and then I need to go to the hair store. As you can see, you girl in the bonnet. So I, I took my braids out knowing that I have to sing today. I took my braids out, so now I'm looking crazy. So what I'm about to do is, since my hair grew back, I'm going to go find me a half wig so I can leave the front of my hair out, put the rest of it in the ponytail because I cannot braid for nothing. Mm -mm. I can't braid this, I, I can't. That's, that's He didn't bless me there. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is dry. But um, what I was saying? So after we leave the hair store, I need to go to Rainbow. I need to either find me something tonight to wear, or wear something I have. And I do need to get Lizzie an outfit. So if y'all don't know, um, I'm back in the medical field. So my client daughter asked me to invite like she invited me and my children to her grandson's birthday party he is he does have autism um and i was like i didn't mind you know part of me feel like they just want to know you know who is at their house all the time so that's how i look at it i as well i probably vlogged that but i don't know i probably have somebody record for me so y'all can see me saying, but yeah, yeah. But um, I will pick y'all back up when we leave the bank. So my mom just caught me. Um, I'm still at the bank, and my mom just caught me, and she was like, "When are you gonna come get these kids' clothes?" And I was like, "Oh, she did say she bought some stuff, so I might not have to buy Lizzie." I got you, Thank you. Yeah, there's um, one, two, three. There's about seven other. Brenda to give you a little card that has your member number on it. If you want, you can just take a picture of it and keep it in your phone, and that way you can just write it down. You don't have to have the actual card, okay? Okay. Give me one second, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. So, my mom was like, um, to come by her house and come get the girl's clothes and shoes and stuff that she bought. And I was like, okay, cool. And then she was like, you coming out? And I was like, no, I'm about to go get a half wig for tonight. And she was like, um, just come to her house. She got a glueless wig. You, baby, you just saved me a whole lot of money. Thank you, Jesus. But anyway, y'all, I'm still at the bank trying to handle business. It's taking longer than, than I thought I expected. So I'm about to head to my mom's house. Well, first, I'm going to give me something to eat. And then I'm going to head to my mom's house. Um, Because I'm starving. But I'm going to head to her house and pick up stuff that I need. And then I'm going to go home. Get the kids ready, take a shower, and get ready for this party. And then I'm I'm not thinking about I'm thinking about not wearing makeup. Cause it's gonna be at a kids park, so it's like what's the point of wearing makeup? It's a kids party. Who I'm trying to look fine for. But I hope you guys enjoying these vlogs, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I was like I don't know if I wanna pick up the camera on weekends because y'all it's really hard for me to pick up the camera again and staying consistent but i'm gonna try my best every chance i get to be as consistent as i can be 
seriously but i be feeling like sometimes my life is boring and so i'm like maybe y'all not interested in my boring life yeah i am trying to rush because i still have church tonight and i don't not want to show up to the party because it would be so awkward at work um because like i told y'all my client daughter invited us to her grandson's party and it would be so awkward if I don't show up after I said we was going. Which I regret saying that we should go because I don't even know what I'm wearing to church now. Still gotta go and pick up a toy for the kid. Which I don't even know what to get a boy because I have all girls. What you getting? I kind of want SpongeBob. Yeah. I gotta get this in. Okay. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Can I have some money? Well, how much you that is? How much About 300. is it? But how much that man did? You know, when the kind of you never give me no three hundred dollars, I ain't do that for it. It's twenty one. You don't never give me no free money. Twenty one. What you do for me? Twenty one. Twenty one. You all off me. <laughs> you know. So, I'm back. I hope y'all can see me. Okay. So, I wanted to say something before um, we go into. The video. Um, so I want to say something before we get continuing the video. If you don't know, I have ADHD. So if I think of something, I have to do it right then and there, or I will forget or overwhelm trying to do a thousand things at once. So um, earlier this morning, um, I went to Walmart, and as I was going to Walmart, I was talking to God. You know, when you're talking to your heart, and when you sometimes a lot of people don't realize that when they're talking out loud or they hear something in their head or something like that sometimes they don't realize that it's God speaking to them so God was talking to me and he was saying how um I don't I don't know what what made God do something but um it's something that I don't remember exactly and I should have said something right then there when I first had the experience and I first was in the um spirit but but basically um I told God I was like God I've just realized, which I feel like it was him trying to tell me. I was like, God, I just realized something. And I got emotional. So I know it was the presence of him. I said, the love that I'm wanting for my husband, the attention that I want for my husband, the things that I think about and that I want for my husband, you give me that. I can sit here and talk to you. Don't feel crazy. I can sit here and tell you things and won't hear it back. I can sit here and talk to you and don't feel judged whatsoever. You are everything that I need. So I was just sitting there how I was, I didn't realize that I was making my husband my God. Let me break it down to some of y'all. Please do not let this go over your head. What I mean is I want to be with my husband forever. That's not possible. 
Because we are assignments. That's our problem. The second thing is, I don't never want my husband to hurt me. I put in so much expectations on someone who is just as human as me. So it made me realize that the same energy that I try to put into my marriage of the obsession of my of the obsession of my husband because I'm obsessed with my husband. The obsession is that I had, I want to make that obsession with God to build my relationship even the more with him because my husband can never be God and he can never replace the love that God has for me and I have for God because my husband will hurt me. God will never hurt me. My husband would disappoint me. God would never disappoint me. My husband would never be able to protect me on the level that God protects me on. My husband can never love me unconditional the way God loves me. He can. I love God more. And God made me realize that I loved my husband more than him. I had to ask him for forgiveness immediately. So think about that. Nobody or nothing can replace the love that God has for you. Because guess what? My husband was not there when somebody put that thing towards my head trying to pull the trigger. God was. He saved me. My husband wasn't there to save me. When we was going through, my husband wasn't able to do it. But all I had to do was go in my prayer closet. That's it. And talk to the man who I know for a fact can do it all things. And guess what? I don't have no strength if Christ don't give it to me. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with y'all. I feel the Holy Spirit again. So I thank y'all for listening. We'll get back into the video. Okay, y'all. So... We, I got an Amazon package that I want to open up. Got it when I got home. So I went out to eat uh, with my parents and my stepdad, my mom and my stepdad and my sister and my kids. We went out to eat. Stepdad bought us some food. We went to Chinese buffet and I came home to my package from Amazon for work. Ah! Okay, so first is we got these containers. It's gonna be meal prepping. Girl, I told y'all you're gonna be starving at work, and I don't want to eat out. So. We're meal prepping. I did buy some shrimps and stuff from Walmart. So um, my husband's gonna make me some stir fry, like some Chinese rice, and then some air fried chicken, period. And don't forget, baby, we got them Hawaiian rolls now. Putting the Hawaiian rolls in every bowl. I love Hawaiian rolls. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is my lunchbox. I'm gonna show y'all that, I'm gonna open it. Um, this is my book. I didn't think it was gonna be this small. It's a money challenge book. It's like a small. Also, I had bought me some masks for work because, baby, what I got to touch down there and I got to um, put the tube down there and it's be funky. So, I had to get some masks. <laughs> I had to get my own mask. But, so I got this money challenge um, thing because it's, it's this year. I want to be the year that I invest so much, stay consistent, even in YouTube. I want to invest in myself, in my dreams. And I know this time will be different because I'm consistent with my prayer life as well. And yeah, so this book, basically, let me show y'all. So let's say if I wanted to save $5,000, I would get an envelope and, um, Let's say if I put $50 in there, I would get like a color thing and color that $50 towards the 5000 challenge. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to do it. You just do it. So it already tells you how much you're going to save. You just have to do it. So I'm going to do one today. But that's for my secret channel. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you can make your own goals as well like Halloween savings, Thanksgiving savings, um, Merry Christmas savings, anniversary, wedding savings. We definitely need a wedding savings because we have something coming up that you guys will see soon. So I definitely, definitely gonna do this one. Okay, so I show y'all got the thing. Okay, so let me show y'all my lunchbox. So, so I made sure, cause like this actually, one of the, one of the things I had got was supposed to be here Friday. 
no Saturday but I was like I'll wait till all my packages on Sunday but basically I'm trying to prepare for work I need to clean my room y'all my room is a mess I need to clean my room y'all look at my lunchbox <laughs> I put all my little stuff my little drinks hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Brenda J hey y'all so today it is Sunday and Sunday is church day. Sunday is God's day. Sunday is rest day. So today I decided to get up this morning because church is not until 1.30. I decided to get up this morning and um, head to Walmart so that I can prepare for the week for work. Um, I'll be doing eight hour shifts this week and um, I definitely want to recap from last week last week was good I understand the flow um, I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do before I decided to bring the camera with me for real so now I will be bringing y'all with me to work now um, now that I have a flow of how I want things to do and how things are um, not only that, y'all, I am completely lost, first of all. I am trying to learn my neighborhood. I'm learning a way, my way around where I live. And, uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, now that I understand my schedule, I understand how I want to do things, I'm going to bring y'all with me to work now. Um, I am super lost. I need to get the GPS out because I am lost at this point. But anyways, um, so I'm going to pick up some shrubs. Let me get my GPS out. I'm going to pick up some no outlet. Yeah, I'm lost. Let me. And then this is like not an area for black people. I can tell you that right now. Oh no, I'm going the right way. Okay, okay, okay. But anyways, um, I'm going to pick up some scrubs. I'm actually going to also pick up some stuff for my meal prep because I am meal prepping this week for work. Um, that is definitely on my vision board. If you don't know, I do the 12 week program. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Go on TikTok. They can explain it better. Go on YouTube. Research it. Oh, I could have went that way to Walmart. Shoot. I got to go all the way around. So then. Um, dang it. I should just went over there. Anyways, um, I'm going, I need scrubs. I don't have any scrubs. Um, I have one pair of scrubs, so it's time for me to invest in another one. Um, and then I need energy drinks because like Friday, if y'all paid attention to the last vlog, if y'all if y'all paid attention to the last vlog then you would have seen that friday i came in i was like prepped up ready to go and then the next thing you know when you saw me again leaving baby my scrub cat was leaning i was stressed baby i was tired so what happened was i had all the energy until like the last two hours i want to say around my break is when my energy started going down so I want to have backups just in case I get to that point. I did order some stuff off Amazon. I'm waiting on that to come now. But I wanted to, I made a list of things that I'm going to need from Walmart. So I'm super excited about going in here. I'm just happy to be back at work. I've been reading out comments in my last vlog. And I can truly say your girl is really happy. I'm happy to be back in the medical field. I am happy for real, for real. Like somebody, um, Said, made a comment that my husband told me he was like babe this is your passion like you have a passion for what you're doing um and somebody in the comments was like brenda i can tell that you have a passion for what you're doing right now like this is the most like she was basically saying that this is the best vlog i ever put out because she can tell that i this is something that i really want to do but um <clears throat> I want to say this though, um, so 
um so yesterday um i had to sing yesterday i didn't record that y'all because it was just a lot going on i didn't have nobody to record for me and i didn't trust nobody with my camera second thing is my job um not the agency the my patient family invited me and my kids and my husband to their grandson's birthday party and she asked me before i left could you know because my patient she's 91 years old she's the mother of the family but her daughter she's 75 years old and she asked me first of all she don't even look 75 let's put it like that hold up wait a minute um i'm gonna park right here because i do need to get some socks oh no i can't park here okay the way this feel but this would be twenty dollars I don't know if I like this y'all I don't like the way it feels like the material of it like I want to be comfortable but it's giving I mean I ain't wore scrub in so long so I guess I forgot how it's supposed to feel these are cute though I like this dark gray. Let me see if I got my size. I'm gonna get a three. I'd rather have a four because I want it to be oversized, but these women clothes right here. I'm gonna get that. I do want to get black. I feel like if I get black, but it's i'm stuck between these two so you got this one it, it looks great on camera y'all but it's not gray it's black i have a gray one this is the gray that i saw but i'm not sure if i'm really feeling this one so i got the dark gray instead so so out of these two blacks um they both do have pockets this one have a v-neck so i do like that this one really don't i don't really like my breast showing but i my breasts do need support let me see if they have my size. Well, they don't even have my size in this one, so. I'm gonna put it right here for now, but it's really hard to find when you're a plus size. But I might go with this gray one. Yeah. Cause I don't like the black, but I don't want it to just keep buying gray. I don't want it just gray. So let me figure it out now. Put that back up. This. I had to check out this. These are the cutest um, nightgowns. And so it's basically a t-shirt and some shorts for only ten dollars. Girl, you better get to your local rest, your lo local restaurant, your local. Um, I'm trying to find me a three X size because I know they ain't got no four. Because I would take a four. Four is more comfortable for me, but I'm gonna do a three. It's twenty two twenty four. Ten dollars can't beat that, baby. Okay, let me go, because I'm supposed to be getting one thing, a few things, and I'm getting over. But I'm about to go look in the girls' section for Liz, because she doesn't have a lot of clothes due to her being bigger now. So, I'm about to go look over there, and then I'm going to do some stuff for work. So.
I don't see the energy drinks. So. What would they do? Like, wouldn't it be in a, like, a packet? I don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. Let's try it one more time. I need those energy drinks, because last time, by the y'all, I was crashing. This ain't gonna be in. No, I still don't see it. Excuse me. Do you know where your energy drinks are? I'm sorry for bothering you. Are you Anthony? You Anthony? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Brenda? Brenda? Mm hmm. Nothing. Is that eight minutes? Okay, thank you. So, now I just ran. Y'all wouldn't believe what just happened. Like, I don't know if we should have this conversation in a car or, okay, we're gonna have this conversation in a car because I got something to tell y'all. <laughs> what just freaking happened? Y'all would not believe what just happened. I swear y'all not gonna believe. I'm pretty sure y'all heard a little bit of it, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in the car. But, okay, so he told me where the energy drinks are. Um, the only problem is Celsius, they, the ones that's in the box, they don't sell the ones that I like in the, girl, what the, $20? Girl, I'm not lying. It's not even the ones that I like. That's the thing, it's the nasty ones. Girl, I don't even know. Okay, so it's seven days. Seven days of the week. So, so the ones that I've been liking you is called Wellamelon, and they don't even have it. Yeah, what girl? This some boy. $20 for a whole pack is crazy. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I might as well get the packet. What this is, these are no sugars. They got peach, mango, blue, raspberry, raspberry. See, I don't like stuff like that, y'all. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna call my husband. Uh, See, my husband wanted to get stuff like this for me, but I'll see y'all in the car. Cause I'm getting aggravated.